guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel I'm glad you're here be sure and like subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified when I have future videos today we're gonna make a um, mug whip topping topper if you want to give them away as gifts I've included the free printable below so you can print the same gift tags I did okay let's get started what we're gonna need is some embellishments you're gonna need a straw a mug a styrofoam ball a decorator tip a stick to stir with a piece of cardboard and then some lightweight spackling I'm using this spice fast and final lightweight spackling I got it at Lowe's just make sure that you use a lightweight spackle because if you don't use a lightweight it will not set up it won't it'll it'll be flopped in the morning so you want to go ahead and use this this is a 32 ounce it makes um, five uh, mug toppers and it's already bright white so you don't have to add any paint to it Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to take our styrofoam ball and we're going to cut it in half. And you can use whatever size styrofoam ball you want to. It's just more of a filler than, um, so you don't have to use so much spackling. Go ahead and trace out your mug and you can use any size mug you want. And this is going to be the base of our whip topping mug topper. And I'm just using a thick piece of um, chipboard. You can use cardboard or anything you want to. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and take some, I'm taking some press and seal. You can use cellophane or whatever you want to. You just want to use something to cover your piece of cardboard so that your spackling will not stick to it. And the press and seal was pretty good because I was able to kind of spin my, um, my cardboard while I was decorating. Okay, just go ahead and attach your um, styrofoam and make sure that you get it right centered into the middle of your base. Next, we're going to take our... Um, decorator tip and we're going to cut the end of our piping bag off and place it inside of there and that's what we're going to use to make our um, topper. We're going to fill that bag up with the spackling and try to get it as low as far into the bag as you can because you want to make sure that you eliminate any air bubbles. And go ahead and fill it pretty full. If you don't use all that spackling you can put that back into your container. Okay, go ahead and close up your bag. And then we're going to squeeze that spackling all the way down to the bottom just to make sure that it's full without any air in it. Then we're going to take our, um, that's the tip I'm using, and I got it at Michael's. It's just a drop flower tip. And take your bag and turn it to the side and just have a constant flow. Just slowly squeezing it out, but make sure you are real consistent and that you get over the edge of that side of that cardboard because you don't want that cardboard to show once you put it onto your topper. We're just going to go one complete circle and in there. And then we're going to go up, up one and do the next. Just make sure that you've got that completely sealed around the edge. And I'm just using some light pressure on my bag just so that I have it consistent all the way around. Then I got off on the top on this one. I had to come back in and make another one to show you how I did the top. Just go all the way around. Just keep going until you have that, that um, styrofoam completely covered up and you want to go ahead and build it up. And then you're going to make one big dollop in the top. Like that. Just check your sides. Make sure that it's completely sealed in. Then I'm taking a straw and I cut it in half. Then I cut it a little bit more. I'm using it. I ended up with a two inch straw. So two two inch straws and you're just going to stick them right into the top kind of facing up at an angle okay then we're just going to take our embellishments and start um, adding embellishments you can use any kind of embellishments you want if you don't want to do a valentine's theme you can use anything you want to i just got that one at the dollar tree cutting the tip off and i'm just going to and then i got these at hobby lobby I got the little dots at the Dollar Tree and I got the other little hearts at Hobby Lobby. Just going to start inputting them into your um, whip topping. Just kind of try not to push it with your fingers or touch it with your fingers. I tried to use it with some um, tweezers but it wasn't working out very good because those had sticky stuff on the back and it kept sticking to my tweezers. So, But you want to make sure that when you put those in there that they are in there good. So if you take your tweezers and push them in a little bit farther, uh, it'll be a little bit better. And then they will stay once that spackling dries. 
when you get all of your stuff onto your um, topper, push it aside and then don't touch it for 24 hours. It has to set up for 24 hours and it will set up firm. And you can make these for any holiday that you want to. Then I'm taking some real fine um, iridescent glitter and I'm putting it on top. Make sure that you don't skip this step because it really makes it beautiful. And I added quite a bit. Okay, after 24 hours, I'm going to attach a um, vinyl lettering to it. If you don't have a cutting machine, and I'm including the SVG for this XOXO, just clean it good with alcohol and then apply your lettering. If you don't have a cutting machine, Hobby Lobby and Michaels and the Dollar Tree all have um, pre-made letters. You can just put one of those on there. Okay, then all we lack is just to glue our topper on top. And it does, you could ship these. I shipped one to my mom and it shipped really well. So just put glue all the way around the edge and then glue it to your mug. Just make sure it's centered good before you put it down because I had a hard time moving it after I got it glued down. All right, pretty easy. Cute little um, topper. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.